What's going on, YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. I'm sure you all know who Tipster is. He's a pretty well-known channel on this side of the community. He was the commentary channel, although he seems to be more of a game streaming channel these days. From the looks of it, he really wanted to separate himself from the commentary community because he deleted 26 million views worth of videos. I understand not wanting to be associated with commentary content, but deleting all of your drama related videos just seems like overkill, especially since most of them were damn good. I mean seriously, the guy was good at what he did, can't fault him for it. He could explain a situation clearly and quickly, so it's a shame we can't see most of his work anymore. And I don't want to sound like I'm kicking sand at the guy's face, but number wise, it doesn't seem like it was the best decision to leave the commentary community, right? It seems like he's getting less views and has been losing subscribers in fact, here and there. I wish the guy well, and hell, if he enjoys what he does and doesn't care about the numbers, all the better for him. But otherwise, I think he should have just stuck to commentary. That's why most people subscribed in the first place. But that's just my opinion. In any case, Tipster looks to have gone absolutely nuts. He went on a blocking spree, privated, and then deactivated his Twitter account. Just a really weird display. It all starts with a tweet, like so many of these spectacles tend to do. Amaranth, who I'm sure needs no introduction, uploaded a video announcing she was no longer doing OnlyFans. Tipster then makes a tweet joking about the matter, saying, The Simps about to be wildin'. Turkey Tom then quote retweets this, saying, The Simps. You knew this video was out within one minute of its release. I bet you unsubscribed just to take this screenshot. You're not fooling anyone, tipster. And that's it. No, really, that's all there is to the situation. After this tweet was posted, tipster went absolutely AWOL. He deleted his initial tweet, blocked Turkey Tom, and then blocked anyone who talked or made fun of the situation. And I'm just scratching my head at it all. Because I don't even think Turkey Tom's tweet was meant to be too mean. It was just making an observation and a joke, and tipster just snapped. It's so weird because it's out of character for the guy to act like this in any scenario. From what I've seen, he was usually able to take a joke, far worse ones than that. So the fact that someone we knew to be a pretty level-headed person is acting this way over a pretty non-offensive tweet is pretty weird. He then posts another tweet, unfollow a few people, and everyone starts coping. Living rent-free. Attaches an edgy anime gif. I think it's supposed to be ironic, and you know what? I'll just give him the benefit of the doubt and say that it is. For the sake of what's left of his reputation, you know? He then makes another tweet saying, Stepping away from the net for a bit. Don't know when I'll be back, but right now, my mental health is more important, and I need to focus on that more than anything. I'll be back when the time is right. In the meantime, take care and know that I love you all. See you soon. And again, I just don't understand it. The guy's absolutely broken over a tweet. It, it wasn't even that bad of a tweet. I feel like if this was anyone else, they'd be able to laugh at themselves a little because hey, it's funny. But yeah, as far as the situation goes, that's really all there is to it. I kind of feel bad because usually there's more depth to these kind of things. Someone makes a tweet, someone else responds to it, and it snowballs from there. But here, someone makes a tweet and that's pretty much it. And again, it really is weird to see this play out. I mean, Tipster was somewhat of a voice of reason in the community. He usually kept his cool, which was respectable. Sure, he went off the rails from time to time, did some dumb things, Things, but we all do. But this man, this right here, it's, it's unprecedented. I feel like that, that his reputation that he spent years building up has pretty much been undone now. Even if he wasn't a part of commentary anymore, he'd still be respected by the members of it. He'd have a respectable legacy, so to speak. I'm not so sure about that now. Nah. He's just kind of made himself into a laughing stock. And apparently he sent this DM to Lyrics, who apparently they don't like each other that much. You made the right call leaving commentary, bro. I did it too. No regrets. And again, like all this over a tweet. I don't get it, man. But you know, if I get to talk about Lyrics though, I don't think there's ever been a worst case of someone fumbling the bag. I mean, Lyrics was put into a pretty good position, wasn't he? I mean, you guys know that whole thing with Jaden flagging Lyrics, right? It's pretty much every small commentator's way dream to get flagged by a bigger creator because it means that even if you're a bad person and even if you make bad content people are gonna sympathize with you and have your back industry secret right here everyone wants a Susie Lou and everyone wants a Prince Ka well unless you're his girlfriend okay that's that that wasn't even funny too soon slick too goddamn soon
So, the whole thing really put a lot of eyes on Lyrics' channel, and it really won him some supporters. And even when the whole Lyrics vs Jaden thing was over, Lyrics seemed to be doing pretty well. His videos were getting decent views, nothing big, but had the potential to grow over time. He seemed to have made friends and connections in the commentary community. Hell, the guy got shoutouts from Keemstar, right on Drama Alert. Literally, all this guy had to do was keep making videos, and he would have grown pretty well over time. Then he decided he wanted to do Omegle videos for some reason reason before just up and quitting YouTube. I mean really, this guy had a great head start and he just kind of wasted it. Although then again, I wouldn't be surprised if he just got bored of the YouTube grind. I get it man, it can get pretty damn repetitive. And you know, he had like a bunch of people who were always on his back for dumb things. Like I know why he'd have like a bunch of detractors. No, Lyrics was the kind of guy who like go after anyone he wanted, even if there was like really no reason to. That kind of mindset would obviously win him some, you know, detractors, right? But the stuff that people like went after him for was just stupid, right? I mean, Lyrics, right, he's an anime fan, right? So on Twitter.com, he'd like a bunch of like anime artwork, right? But then some losers started calling him a lolicon because they combed through his locks and found out he liked pictures of like anime children. But it's like they weren't even sexualized or anything. It was just artwork of anime children. Like just because someone draws children in an anime art style doesn't make it like lolly or whatever I'm supposed to call it. But people kept hounding him about it, and it's like, I don't know, I can understand why you just say, screw it, this community sucks, I'm out of here. But yeah, you know, regarding Tipster, it's just a weird thing to see play out. This once respected figure of the community, now reduced to Twitter freakouts. Ah, uh, that's all I've got for this shtick. You guys do all jack your favor and keep it groovy. Thank you, thank you very much.